Okay, so elements, compounds, and mixtures. Now, we know that all matter is made out of atoms, and an atom looks spherical. It contains electrons, protons, and neutrons, and depending on how many particles, it is a specific kind of atom. We call these different kinds of atoms elements. And an element is one kind of atom. It cannot be broken down. For example, O is a symbol for oxygen. And if you put any number here, it will still be an element of oxygen. So for example, if you took O and you put the number two, that means I have two oxygens, which would look like this. This is an element. If I put one more oxygen in there, it would turn it into three spherical uh, spheres joined together into one unit, and this would also be an element. Now, I could also just have one oxygen, and that would still be an element. I could have 1,000 oxygens, and it would still be an element. So remember, an element is just one kind of atom. You can have as many of them, it just has to be the same kind. A compound is where there's two or more kinds of atoms together, or two different kinds of elements. They can be broken down because they're made up of more than one kind. So for example, we have water. H is the symbol for hydrogen, and I have two of them and I have one oxygen. So here you see oxygen is bigger than the hydrogen, and there are two of them. They're all connected into one unit, and therefore this is called a compound, because there are at least two different kinds of atoms. Again, over here, it is uh, C for carbon, and there are four hydrogens. So there are four hydrogens and one carbon, and that's one unit, because there are at least two different kinds of atoms, this is also a compound. Over here is C6, and C stands for carbon, 12 hydrogens and 6 oxygens. We would say C6H12O6, also known as glucose. Now, you don't have to draw this picture, but I just want to show you what the molecular structure would look like. Over here, we have 6 carbon, we have 6 oxygen, and there are 12 hydrogens. As you can tell, the more numbers that you have and the more elements that you have, the larger the molecular structure or the compound. Over here we have N, which is nitrogen, and we have three hydrogens, which is an ammonia. We call that ammonia, and what that looks like is this. Again, one single unit with two, mo two different kinds of atoms. These are all elements, or these are all compounds. So as a recap, we know that elements are made up of one kind. So notice here, there's only one kind visible of element. And over here, the compounds are made out of more than one kind. So you have to have at least two joined together, or you can have three. The next thing that we need to learn about is mixtures. Now, a mixture can be any of these things mixed together. So let's go over here. A mixture is a combination of possibly they could be elements and elements. So if I had a mixture where I threw some oxygens in and I threw some nitrogens, it would be a mixture of oxygens and nitrogens. Now they have to stay separate. If they joined and created something else, then that wouldn't really be a mixture. You would make a new compound. So remember the elements have to stay separate. A mixture can also be an element and a compound. So if I mixed, for example, oxygen, and those are two, that's an element, two of oxygens, which is an element, and then I have a carbon and an oxygen, which is carbon monoxide, and they're just dancing around. They don't join, they just mix. It's like a little party. And there's lots of these COs and a lot of these O2s, and they're just dancing around. That is also a mixture. Another kind of mixture is where there's just lots of compounds. So it's compound plus a compound. So here we have carbon dioxide and we have methane. And if they're all dancing around, then it's a mixture. So here we have 
two different kinds of mixtures. So now that we learn that, we have two different kinds of mixtures. The first kind of mixture is called homogeneous mixture, or some people notice that there is homo. Okay, homo means same, looks the same. You cannot see the different parts because it looks the same. So for example, if you look at any of these objects, you see exactly the same thing. So here's the pancake bat batter. You have the biscuits, when you open them up, they look exactly the same. The icing, same, same, same. You don't see any differences. And if you cut into the cream cheese, it looks the same throughout. So homo means same and you cannot see the different parts. The part that you can see or the mixture that you can see the different parts is called heterogeneous. And hetero means different. So because you can see the different parts, it is called a heterogeneous mixture. For example, tacos. Can you see the cheese? Can you see the tomatoes? I see the lettuce and there's the meat. You can see all the different parts. Therefore, it's a heterogeneous mixture. Candy mixes is another because they're colors. When you mix the colors, you can see all the different colors. Therefore, it's a mixture that is heterogeneous. Down here, you also see the different colors, the different parts. You see the blueberries from the flower. And those, this is why it makes the blueberries a heterogeneous mixture. The other one is mint chocolate chip ice cream. And you can see the chocolate chips, which is separate from the ice cream. Now, if we did not have the chocolate chips and only the green ice cream right here, this green ice cream would be what? That's right, it would be homogenous. However, as a whole, it is heterogeneous because you can see the chocolate chips from the green part of the ice cream. So, again, we have elements, the same kind of atom. Here we have two different kinds of atoms or more. And we have mixtures. We have homogeneous mixture, which means that it is a mixture of either elements, elements, elements and compounds, or compounds and compounds, um, but you cannot see any change. It's mixed completely and thoroughly and evenly. Over here, because some of the compounds stick together and you can actually see the difference, that is what makes this a heterogeneous mixture. So we are finished with our notes. Please make sure they're complete and that you understand the information and you will be ready to participate in tomorrow's activity. If you feel like you need to watch this over again, please definitely do so and we'll see you next time.